Cherith a few times in our conversations when I've talked about, you know, uh, when God was human or when he was raised from the dead or when he did ascend, you know, in this kind of past tense that identifies real events in space-time history, you also always remind me faithfully about the is. He not just was raised, but is raised, is risen. Not was human, but is human. And even the ascension that happens in Acts chapter 1, that there's an is element to that. So can you tell me about the isness of the Christ event? Yeah, um, so the the contrast immediately for me in my head i remember sitting in someone's office at some point and and i didn't come into doing like formal theology till i was in my late 30s and 40s so this was not the kind of offices i was normally sitting in but somewhere i remember sitting in an office and seeing like um what was systematic theology like just a whole bunch of theology textbooks by some great person and each volume was self-contained. So it was like creation, sin, the person of Jesus, the work of Jesus, which would be like the cross or your toe, the whatever, like you see self-contained little ideas. And it was like, well, got that sorted. Now let's go on to the next question. And, and I think when I finally began re-meeting or meeting knowing Jesus for the first time as the God man really truly the God human boy like it was like take all of that and not put it in the shredder like it needs to all go away it's just like no it just has to be one book <laughs> and his name is Jesus and if we start with Jesus it's as the self-revelation of the Father by the Spirit, we get the triune God with him. But every single one of those questions, or idea, how to think about creation, how to think about brokenness, how to think about restoration, how to think about purpose and meaning and tell us, like, where is this all going and why? Like any and all of those questions, what does it mean to think about what it means to be in good relationship to you? All of those things have to be passed through this person who is also his work, right? The person implicates the work and the work always implicates what and how this person has to be this person to have done this work. And so suddenly you're like, oh, the, this wasn't just an event that could be isolated into that book on, let's just take like the life of Jesus and go, hmm, we talk about his early life. And then we talk about his ministry and then we talk about his death and then we talk about his resurrection and then maybe we talk about the ascension and then they're all done and then he's done with his part of things and now it's the spirit and then we wait for all things to finish like, whoa 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 what what if all of those things are who he is like he's been jesus of nazareth son of god creator of and ruler of the universe what if he's jesus of nazareth son of god present as god feeling the effect of alienation and brokenness from both the creaturely side and god's side from the beginning of that mess right like what if he and then what if as our friend father john barry well was talking like the passion or the cross as you also use that language of the cross if, if this is the shape of the life of that person, the shape of the love of that person, then his whole life, not up to the ascension where he stops being alive like us, but if all of that is gathered up into his whole life, so that's the person he is now forever, always, always was, will be. That is a little mind boggling to me. Like, I don't know how to, talk about these because they some of them were like events really in time but to think oh all of that is the person who loves me this is the person who is still 
the son of his mother who also made it possible for his mother to ever come into being so that she could make it possible for him to come into being like us. Like this is the person who is pouring out the spirit with his father, breathing clay into life, but he's also the person pouring out the spirit where Peter can go, what do you think you're seeing? That guy who you killed, God raised him from the dead by the spirit. And now he's seated at the right hand of the father. And that covenant, like Jeremiah, Isaiah, Ezekiel, that's what you're seeing. They're just pouring out God among us yet again forever. And this eschatological spirit, we he will be the one who brings us home into our eschatological humanity. So, so what is that? We get to be with Jesus, who's presently already holding our future in his own life. And then suddenly the, the present tense of everything makes sense and I stop having to look backwards to go, well, what would Jesus have done? Like the, what would Jesus do bracelet? Like, no, I, I can ask you Jesus, because thank you that there is a record of how you submitted to the father so that I know that the life of love is one of submission and mutual submission. But at the same time, I know that that kind of life and the character that is who you are in this moment, that's what you're calling me to ask you about in this moment. How can I be with you, like you, with what you're doing as I get to sit today in the household of the Jersaks? How do I get to be with Jesus loving Brad and Eden Jersak today? And the lady that we saw at the bank and your neighbor. And what, Jesus, what are you doing? with us, among us, that if we just pay attention, oh, you're, you're not just in our moments, but as you and I have been doing Hebrews together, you're the one who's just standing there going, here I am, Father, all oh, the children you've given me. And when I have no words and I'm frustrated and can't even recognize the isness of everything, you're like, it's okay, I, I'm leading this worship parade like or you don't have anything way to pray that's all right this is my privilege and honor as high priest I fought for this privilege through your whole life and mine so that I could pray on your behalf and the heart of God speaks this prayer before it's even out of my life like that is is everything like you don't have to pray to twist my arm to care you don't have to pray wondering if anybody's listening. We're just trying to help you pay attention to the fact that what is, is. It's you, little sweet girl, who's got her head down and kind of hunkered down in some false is, who we just keep opening up to that. Oh, this is all a present reality, and it always will be. Want to start? Want to start playing a little differently? <laughs> in the fields of the Lord, even now.